I'm James with Dolling House Construction. We're here in Costa Mesa, California today at a foundation repair project. Going to be lifting this garage behind me. It's down right now two and a half inches. Uh, the corner of the garage and the house is down about an inch and a half. Customer was noticing some doors not working. They're also converting their garage into a living space, so they need the floors to be a lot more level than they are. We installed 10 push piers along the exterior of the foundation. Uh, we hit about 13 feet of depth and that provided us to like a lot more stable soil. So that's being lifted off. In the garage, we're trying to get full recovery and bring it back up to zero. And in the house, some, some sections are gonna get stabilized uh, per the customer's request. And uh, we'll get about an inch of lift there. Uh, after the lift's done, uh, we go ahead and backfill all the pier locations and uh, po our poly crew will be out here to do a polyurethane void fill uh, to stabilize the slabs and the foundation from moving any further. After the piers are done, you're guaranteed to, they're guaranteed to uh, not settle anymore. Uh, it's gonna be a permanent foundation stabilization and they're gonna experience no further movement. Channel, uh, channel the crescent wrench. Oh, it's helping channel water. It's kind of really smooth, actually. Yeah, no, it's uh, we're not losing any pipe either, so it's a good sign. I know it's not really smooth. Get a lot of lift quickly, so it's uh, it's going together well. Yeah, no, it's same. All these pipes are like. So the lift for the garage went really smooth. Uh, everything ended up being level uh, within a tenth of an inch. So really, really smooth process there. So taking the, the altimeter readings around the, the stem wall of the foundation for the garage, uh, we were able to determine that we were within like a tenth of an inch, basically, everywhere that we lifted. So really good progress. So the zip level plays a really big part in everything that we do. Uh, from the initial bid, the salesman will be out there with it taking uh, floor readings so that we know exactly what's happening with the foundation. And then when we go to lift, we reference those same readings and uh, kind of just compare that to what we're getting and how much lift we're actually getting versus how much we need and uh, where we're going to leave it. The doors get re realigned after it's already dropped, so that, those always those aren't always a, a sure sign. So a lot of times after we lift, it creates a door jam because it's gotten correct, corrected before. But this one it seems like it's uh, getting corrected. <laughs>